My name is Jen Gilbert and I'm an outfielder and this will be my sixth year on the national team. I told my mom when I was eight years old, like, mom, I'm going to be a great softball player someday and I want to play for Canada in the Olympics when I grow up. And she just kind of stared at me. She was kind of taken back that an eight-year-old could say something so profound. But um, she said, like, honey, that's great, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. And I said, like, I know, but I want to do it. I think just growing as a person, um, dealing with different coaches, different teammates, um, having like those small sacrifices with like your social life, you know, going to school and not being able to go out with friends to the movies because you know you were playing a tournament the next day. Um, yeah, I think uh, just, I guess, trying to always make sure that you're getting better year after year and challenging yourself because you know that at the end of the road, you know, it's gonna take a lot of hard work to make like a national team. My family has always been my biggest supporter. Um, there are times when I think like, okay, maybe this could be my last year and my family's like, uh-huh, sure. Like they don't believe me. So um, I think that's, that's just more evident that like, you know, they're always gonna know like, I love this game and I'm gonna play it. Like, and when the time is to be done, I'll know. Um, but they will never pressure me to say like, hey, you might wanna, you know, put softball down and, you know, get on with the rest of your life. Um, so I've been very fortunate with that. I did used to coach in university. I actually coached my alma mater at Ball State. Um, and once softball had gotten put back into the Olympics, I knew that I wanted to be all in. Um, it was gonna take training year round for me to be where I needed to be for our program. Um, so I had quit that job and um, actually moved back home and moved into my house where I grew up with my parents. Um, so I've been living there the past three years, um, training full time for this team. So. Um, it's definitely been different. I went from living on my own and kind of having that um, taste of like real adult life with a job and benefits and now I'm you know kind of back to where I was in high school living at home and playing softball. So um, it's definitely kind of a different reality than what other people might have but um, it's, it's what it's going to take so I'm all in. These women inspire me so much. Um, I've never played on a team. I've never played on a team with this many influential people and they all influence in such different ways and it's made me such a better human being. Um, aside from the softball piece, um, I'm just incredibly grateful for this atmosphere, um, the growth that I've made being a part um, of this program for the last 10, 11 years. I just learned so much from each and every one of them. Um, we've all been through such different phases of our lives and um, the fact that I can go to anybody on this team with a struggle or um, if I need advice, um, we're all at that level where we're very comfortable going to each other. Um, my mom and I are very close. Uh, she was the sole provider for my family when I was growing up. Um, she started her own business in the early 2000s and uh, my family had gone through uh, financial struggles and I just remember her staying up till 1, 2, 3 in the morning trying to grow her business, um, her online business. Um, and I've just watched her um, all those years, just her work ethic um, is instilled to me to this day. Um, if work ethic was a love language, it would be mine. Um, I just try to emulate like her work ethic, um, how she treats people, um, she always puts others before herself. Um, and she's, she's my best friend, she's the sole reason why I'm here. She, even now at 28 years old, she feeds the hack machine for me when I'm hitting at home and she'll attempt to hit me ground balls and um, she'll throw with me and um, so it's kind of been like our bonding for the last 20 years that I've played this game. The more that we can see strong female role models in society, um, I think that will inspire young girls to 
believe that they are capable of more than they know. I would say that women can play softball for as long as they want, well into their mid to late 30s, um, not having to give up because they um, can't afford to do it anymore. Um, financially, it's not available for them, um, or they have family that they have to go be home with. Um, I just hope that you would never have to leave the game that you love because of something else. You can just do it on your own terms. I hope that playing out on the field, um, on my social media, anything like that, I hope that there's something that I do that sparks something, whether it be softball related um, or personal. Um, I hope that something sparks um, wanting more with um, young girls, that they want more for themselves, that they know that they can do anything that they set their mind to. I tend to take things very seriously and it's kind of like a double-edged sword. I wouldn't be the softball player that I am today if I wasn't so hard on myself and didn't take things so seriously. Um, but also I need to just embrace the fact that I'm here and you know, it, it is a game, softball is a game and it's supposed to be fun. And um, the little girl who fell in love with the game, um, she wasn't in it for accolades or trophies or stats or anything or approval from others. Um, it was just she loved throwing a yellow ball around and hitting the yellow ball around. So I hope that people would remember me as the hardest worker in the room, um, that she loved her teammates, she loved her coaches. Um, she would do whatever it possibly takes in order to be the best player for her team. Um, she was willing to make the sacrifices and um, just embraced um, everything that came at her and just gave it her all.